Come RVing with the Maracas on our latest RV camping adventure. Hey Rhonda, you're in the RV today. Where are you going? Um, we're going to uh, Stephen Foster State Park in the heart of Georgia. It's so far, we, we showed it in a previous video. It's 17 miles down a one-way road. So, how much internet do you think we're going to get, Rhonda? Well, we brought our booster, but um, we don't really anticipate getting much. So might not be watching Netflix tonight. Maybe not. So, uh, Rhonda, we got a little bit of a late start today. <laughs> Did you learn something new today? Uh, yes, I learned that I really don't know um, how the uh, battery charging system works on this coach. It was quite a, an experience today. Going out, we had everything all packed up. Ready to go, went to crank it, it would not crank. So Joe can explain it to you what we learned. We had bought a new battery only a couple weeks ago, but at least I knew what to do, so I opened this up and hooked up the battery charger. But I called Thor while I was waiting for it to charge and talked to one of their really nice service reps. This is the second time I've called Thor and both guys I talked to were really nice. He explained to us that we did not understand how the charging system works. So there's the little red light by the door, the main, that, power, switch. The main power switch that's red when it's on. The secret seems to be that you have to turn that on before you plug in or you're not charging the batteries and theoretically I guess the batteries are draining and the red light does not indicate that that is on or off mm -hmm. it just indicates that you're getting power from somewhere but not necessarily yes. from so even though as soon as you plug in the shore power that red light comes on that does not mean that you're charging the batteries and 17 miles. <laughs> Okie Pinocchi Trail. Ready? Okay, Okie Pinocchi National Wildlife Refuge. U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, Department of the Interior. Stephen Foster is a five-star rated RV campground on Campendium with 13 reviews. We got a special winter discount and only paid $19 per night for a nice site with water and electric. Listen, buddy, get out of the way. Yeah, don't even look at us. We just checked in, all good. Okay, it's a little tight in here. Named after songwriter Stephen C. Foster of Way Down Upon the Swanee River fame, the campground has 68 campsites and some cottages for rent. Less than 25% of the campsites were occupied when we were there in early January, midweek. We were in campsite number 12. It was large and private with a nice fire ring. It did have big roots in the ground, but the trees were tall and thick. You could barely see the sky. The deer were used to humans, so it was easy to get great pictures. Thankfully, they didn't rely on people feeding them, so they all looked nice and healthy. According to Wikipedia, white-tailed deer live all over the central and eastern United States. Bergman's rule says that their average size being smaller the closer to the equator they live. They are browsers and can eat a wide variety of foods from new plant shoots to fruit and mushrooms, even cactus and poison ivy. The park has well over 200 species of birds and other creatures like gator, deer, and black bear. Before the Spanish, French, and English came to the area, it was populated by the Tamuqua-speaking Oconee Indians. The first commercial use of the area was an attempt to drain the swamp and build the Suwannee Canal in the 1890s. The company paid 26.5 cents per acre for over 230,000 acres from the Georgia government. But even using convict labor and steam shovels, they didn't get far. But they did start the first commercial logging operation cutting huge old growth cypress. By 1901, the land was sold to the Hebard Lumber Company that cut 431 million board feet of old growth cypress that was sold around the world by a network of companies they owned. At one point, over 600 people lived on Billy's Island, a town in the swamp as part of the logging operations. 
1937, the Hebart family sold the land to the federal government where it remains today. Uh, I think this gator, Sophie, I think her survival rate is probably a little bit higher. Just because she's down here uh, with all, ah, there's all a the human activity. Oh. Yeah. Uh, there might be a few less predators to worry about. Mm -hmm. There have been times where I've seen 150, 200 gators just on this lake alone. Really? Yeah. It's estimated to be at least 12,000 alligators in the Okefenokee. Pretty big one. He looks pretty big. So when we came here before, I don't know if you taught him, we were um, we came up to that um, boat ramp, uh -huh. and there was a big gator just sitting there. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of sunning himself. Yeah. There's uh, one that's about ten foot that hangs out in the park. Um, and Gators live in freshwater lakes and rivers and swamps. They are only found in the southeast of the U.S. Rough idea how old these are? Very rough idea. The largest, most mature ones, I would guess, no more than two or three hundred. Uh oh. They, uh, they get established fairly quickly as young cypress, but once they're pretty well established, they slow down. Uh, sometimes the growth rate can be as slow as only adding an inch in diameter every 20 years. So. Yeah. So how long do they stay underwater? It depends a lot on um, the time of year, that air temperature. Uh, so the warmer months, maybe 15, 20 minutes. Oh, uh, but colder they months, they can stay under for hours. Okie Finoki is often translated as the land of trembling earth or bubbling water based on the name used by the Seminole Indians who lived there until the Second Seminole War. The Suwannee River, which starts in the Okefenokee Swamp, drains 90% of the swamp's watershed. The swamp is a huge peat bog and the largest blackwater swamp in North America. In May 2007, a huge fire burned over 900 square miles of the swamp. Hi everyone, we've been to three state parks in Georgia. We've been to Jekyll Island, Getaway Island, and now we're at Stephen Foster State Park in Fargo, Georgia. <laughs> yeah, so we feel like we've, um, we're ready to put up our Georgia sticker. Ta-da! We have two states now, Florida and Georgia. Very exciting. Whoop, whoop. We only waited really because we already had the reservations. <laughs> well, we're leaving Stephen Foster State Park in Georgia. Yes. It's a pretty park. Boy, the trees are thick here in this campground. Uh, got nothing. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to follow our adventures. Hey, let me know if you like the history lessons. I really enjoy looking up info about where we visit and like to put it in the videos. Thanks again.